to be live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Ooh, yeah. Grab me by the pussy. She looks like she could take a dip. Deep. Hi, it's me, the kid. It's time for the Going Deep Show, everybody. I sound awful, but I like it. I do. I like how I sound right now. I sound so dirty. Like I got done eating, eating a bunch of bitches out. Or you're working on it. I wish. Uh, so join, do they. <laughs> joining me? Her wonderfulness. It's Fiona. Yes, yes, and yes. What's up, girl? That's huh. so good. This is the first time we've recorded in the studio in a long time, it seems. Well, we've been using my lair. Your lair is a wonderful place. It's I even d- more wonderful now. I miss your lair. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, it is. We need music for layering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where is it? No, I don't have that music set up in here. Son of a bitch. I wanted to play my special song that I love to play so much. It's even more wonderful now. Yes, yesterday you did. You sent a photo to me of you looking just terrible. I can't believe you would send me such a picture. (laughs) Why do you send me such terrible photos of you? Sometimes I let them leak out. (laughs) Sometimes I let it leak out. Sometimes my snail trail is leaking out. (laughs) Yo. We were, I was having a conversation with LB. Uh, a couple of days ago, we traveled across the state to Cedar Springs Brewing Company for uh, a beer festival that they had there. And uh, we were talking about being super attracted to people. And, and it reminded me of the last time I jizzed in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like how I attempted to be all serious there? Yes. Uh, and then, yes. Noted. So here's the thing. Back in uh, September, October, and a little bit of November, I was seeing somebody, and I made the conscious decision not to jack off. Not to whack off with the shampoo bottle up my ass or anything. No. <laughs> and uh, I remember the one time she we met up halfway, and the reason I was thinking about it because we were going through the town where I would meet up with her, and we'd fucking bang the park of that. So... The one time we got together and we only had a couple minutes and we, it wasn't, we didn't have the time to get it on, you know? Nah. But w- I got out of the car and I was hugging her and I remember fucking just <laughs> ready to fucking roll, right? Yep. And I got back in the car and I was like, I think I just fucking jizzed in my fucking <laughs> pants. <laughs> it's probably a little preload. A little preload. Yeah. Preloadiness. Yeah. That'll happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a... Uh, I'm getting to the point now where I need to either physically get my ass back in shape cardio wise because I just feel like I'm not waking up with the bones again. Mm-hmm. I'm worried about my bones. Yeah. I need to be you know, I need to some I need some stimulation. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I'm just like yeah. I need to I need to how did I get from this from the hot tub to this? <laughs> <laughs> I have been thinking about some shit. <laughs> Shit'll happen. All right, so let's talk about this hot tub action. <laughs> when you straddle me in the hot tub. <laughs> Can't two close friends just straddle each other and dry hump in a hot tub? Come on. Can't we? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Sorry. All I don't right. think that's possible. Just wet humping. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is calling me? I'm sorry, I can't take you right now. (laughs) I'm too busy fantasizing about wet humping. Anyway. Uh, We're here to cause trouble. That's all we're here for. So I say that. Yeah, it's fine, everybody. We're we're just we're saying this in jest. We're very, very friendly. We're not that friendly though, okay? So just chill the fuck out, everyone. Okay? I I know that being an adult sometimes means you can't fuck your friends. <laughs> That's what are you, 
No, that no. means that? I would say you can't fuck your friends. You can't fuck your friends you ever. You can't fuck your best friends, I think. I would say that <laughs> is probably you'll, you'll a better... Sometimes when you fuck your friends, it turns into a disaster. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. How would I know that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea yes. how that happens. <laughs> no. eh, anywho... So how do we combat this? By buying virtual headsets to jack off with instead. <laughs> uh, this is a week where I'm alone to, all by myself. And I wish I was kidding when I thought I'm going to run to Best Buy and buy one of these VR headsets. I swear to God I was going to. I was this close to doing it. And I was... I, it's just because I want to I wanna see what it's like to have seven girls sucking my dick at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> be like a bunch of fucking bitches just like piling on... Fighting for space. I just thought of something really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, this is my genius. Live. <laughs> this is live. This is not premeditated. I didn't sit and write this shit down. This is real. As I sit here, this this is what pops into my head, okay? I want to set up a program. Going Deep Show helps your local animal shelter. Find homes for the pets. Okay. Between three to six, maybe seven dogs at a time. Do you know where I'm going with this? Keep going. Okay. We can even team up with like a local food pantry. They can donate peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're on the VR. I put the VR on. Go, just go with me on that. I put the, I put the VR on me. <laughs> You have to have it set up so that you can release the hounds so you're not seeing them. And also have the peanut butter ready for slathering. Okay? And then at the proper moment in the movie when the seven girls are going to town on your dong dong. Let them loose. You let them fucking dogs loose with peanut butter all over your dong. And it's like real interaction. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think of that? I think Except wrong. for when they start using their teeth. I think we're on to something. Oh, they start thinking it's beef jerky or some shit. You have to like put a good. muzzle on them and they can only stick their tongue out through the muzzle. <laughs> See, I like how you're thinking of all the logistical problems. I'm trying to protect, she's, you know. She's trying to not have me at the goddamn ER. So you got you to you you protect the frankenbeans. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interaction though, man. You talk about live interaction there. <laughs> I think that it's fantastic. Like, that's how my brain works. That's there, fantastic. <laughs> this is why we're friends. I mean, how could you? <laughs> there's no alternative there, you know. Let's be real. Everyone's getting a bit. Every, everybody's making out in the end. Dogs have homes. Dogs have homes. My balls have no cum in them. We're fine. Everything's good. <laughs> 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 so fucked up. I love it. I love it. My mom and dad are so proud of me. <laughs> this is how they raised me. Can you believe this? Is how they raised me. <laughs> you like the look on your face if people can see it. <laughs> you know, how they raised me. I'm so happy though. I am. Last time I was smiling this much, I think I was at the Eagles concert. <laughs> I certainly wasn't thinking about seven dogs licking nut fucking peanut butter off my fucking dick. <laughs> uh, I love this. It's fucking awesome. I love it. That shit makes me happy. I'm dead serious, though. I want to get one of these things. I think I just need to steal my kids, but I'm afraid to put in... I'm, I'm afraid that whatever websites and shit I go to, that she's going to be able to see and stuff, you know? Yeah. Why does dad like triple penetration porno? Because <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Come on, why doesn't... What's the problem? I don't understand the problem. What's the problem? There's no problem. No, I like outdoor groups. Three chicks, outdoors. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be warm enough so it's... You're not, you know, everything's staying nice and firm, but also not warm enough where this mosquito's fucking zapping your bowels, your bazals. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, I did find a new porn star that I was, I got into recently, and I don't know, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure why this person, I should bring it up, I want your first impression on this chick. Uh -huh. I think I'm beyond the, the young, the younger ladies now. I'm into the milfs now. I was gonna say, is this like a like a goddamn granny? She's a milf. She's milfy. No, she's not like granny. Granny. Her name is Becky Bandini. Her name is Becky Bandini. All right. This is her. She's Becky Bandini. Oh, she's very pretty. She's a super pretty chick, brunette, super curves. Actually, I'm in the wrong browser because this is like 
Is this showing the safe browsing? I don't want safe browsing, by the way. I want unsafe browsing. I was going to say safe? Yeah. Safe. Th there's a way to do safe browsing using the right... Uh, like, did you notice how all those photos, photos came up very tame and shit? Like, watch now. We're over in the real browsing. Oh, wait. Okay, no. her bra. Yeah, what the fuck? Why isn't it showing me all the dirty shit? Oh, because I'm not signed in. That's why. Let's just go right to the Pornhub. Everybody, just look up Becky Bandini. Okay. B-A-N-D-I-N-I. -I. And she does all sorts of dirty shit. But I, I, I just like the way she looks for some reason. I don't know what the fuck I heard. I don't know what it is about her. I don't know. I usually hate brunettes, too. But she's a brunette. She's okay. But she's got some big old floppy jalops, man. She's Holy got, fuck. You know? She's flopper jalopers. There you go. She's letting it all hang out. Guess what year she was born? 80. 87? 87? I think so. No fucking way. Yeah. Yep. 87. She's, she's 34. 34 years old. She looks a lot older, don't you think? Yeah, she does, actually. She looks way beyond milfiness. But yeah, so I told LB about her like a couple days ago, and then I went to take LB to his car the other day. And he's he, we get in the car. I totally forgot I told him. He leans over and goes, Becky Bandini, huh? <laughs> he was like, yeah, you must have went to town. <laughs> Becky Bandini. That's how she works. She knows how to work her fucking clit hood. That's for damn sure. We're going to get into this next because Fiona apparently... Oh, God, the, the, the article is not going to come up now. Ah. Go figure. You should just love your clit hood no matter That's what. That's not fucking fair. I was wondering why I should be totally in love with it. First of all, how often do you even think about your clit hood? I never, never, ever. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going I'm 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 to find this one way, one way or the other. Google.com. Google.com. I've always wondered why there isn't a dot .com for all the porn. There should That's be a what dot I said. Com. There should be a dot That's com. That's what I said. I said it a long time ago. There should be a dot .com. Seven reasons to love your clit hood. Let's, let's, let's fucking, let's get on, let's get let's on see that. see what this is. Your clit hood is a, is the foreskin that protects your clitoris. Really, no shit. Seven things everyone got wrong about their clitoris. Twelve things you should defi definitely know about your clit. So this isn't going to give us any seven things. Yeah, this isn't going to give it to us. Good in the hood. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. And I'm sorry to get you all wet and huh? wet up, wet and fucking crazy over there about this whole clit hood situation. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. Well, that's just fucked up. It is fucked up. It's fine. Whatever. I don't even care. I never even thought about it. <laughs> I'm going to find it later. You know, <laughs> You're like, ah. I'm going to find your clit hood later. By the way, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so let's get back to what we had originally started this episode out with, and that was you in the hot tub. <laughs> oh, I fucking sat in that motherfucker last night. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. Tell me. Oh, uh, goddamn fucking one of the, so there's a, there's a, one of the hoses that comes out and it's supposed to be like a vacuum type hose and it like it's meant to hook it up to like uh some kind of i don't know fucking contraption that holds chemicals so it sucks it up and like so yeah so it was sealed off but it wasn't sealed off well enough so i got home from work yesterday oh, no. morning and fucking all i saw is chlorine and i walk up and the whole fucking all the windows are all steamed up and i look down and the fucking rug is soaked and I look over, and yeah, I walked over. I, I picked up the fucking lid of the cover, and it was like almost like less than half full. Fucking just water shooting out of the jets. How far into the room did it get? All the way to the fucking door. Oh, are you shit me? All the way to the door. It was more than half of the fucking. The thing is almost three hundred gallons. Oh my god. Yeah. Did yeah. you call that motherfucker up as soon as you fucking noticed? I texted it? him right the. Fr <laughs> I texted him right away. I was like, uh, I have like about a hundred and fucking fifty gallons or more of water on my fucking floor, and I pulled off the cover and I see that there's a fucking hose. I plugged it. Like there's a piece like sitting that I'm like, oh, this came out of here for some reason, but there's nowhere to stick it. And I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do with it. So he ended Jesus. up coming after I went to bed. But like, yeah, apparently it's meant to hook up to like. Some kind of piece of equipment that will hold chemicals, and I don't have one of those. Fucking shit. So, so he sealed it off, but he didn't like. He didn't cap the thing good he, enough. He capped it. Yeah. Well, he capped it, but he didn't. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't sealed because he thought maybe I'd want to do that. Well, no, I don't want to fucking do that later. So AP was there, and he's like, "No, just seal that bitch off." Fucking a man. I'm like, I will just put the fucking chemicals in my hand. And so humidifier up up there, getting that cleaned up. I mean, oh, I fucking. 
I have a I have a fan that we uh, that was left over from when the basement flooded, and we had Sir Pro come out. And they yeah. forgot the fan, so I fucking turned that bitch on. Jesus Christ, man! Fuck. I hate when that shit happens. Oh, it's so fucking pissed. Then I refilled, so I fucking refilled the goddamn hot tub. Yeah, I had that issue. Home <coughs> home ownership is the best, man. I had to buy a new sump pump last week. I'm like fucking a. When you just yeah, don't I saw the other on one shit. sitting out there. Yeah, you're just not planning on buying shit, and then just have to. Yeah, well, I had a sump. Uh, that I had to take and put in so I could purge the fucker. I purged it twice. You have no fucking idea how dirty those motherfuckers really are. Or just the photo you're and sending me, man. Until I you purge them. I did not want to see what that looked like in person. I, that, just from the pictures, it looked fucking nasty. It was nasty as fuck, and it's like biofilm just fucking wrapped around the sides. You fucking turn that bitch on, get it going, it all foams up. It's all brown and fucked up. and <laughs> You know, it's people's fucking, like... Dead fucking skin cells, oh, and pubes and shit. Jesus, goddamn. Maybe I don't want to get in this thing. <laughs> oh, I fucking purged it twice and cleaned purged, it out and everything. Purged it. No, nothing but nothing but your pubes and skin in there. No. We've gone over this before. There are no pubes to be had. <laughs> there are no pubes to be floating around in that motherfucker. Oh yeah. And there never will be. Anybody that has pubes is not allowed to get in my fucking hot tub. Oh, I got pubes. You better fucking wax that bitch. All right, I'll let you wax me live on the sh- on the camera here. You're going to regret saying that. Everybody to do the show. It hurts so good, though. We'll just wrap it right around my dick, the whole thing. Just... (laughs) Like you're taking the leather off of a baseball bat. (laughs) (laughs) Like you're about to splinter a motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) We're down to our last few minutes of the program here. I want to talk a little bit about bitch slapping fucking Negroes. Uh, uh, Freaking Will Smith and... uh, Chris Rock, not me. I would, I would never condone bitch slapping Negro. <laughs> I saw that on the TV screen. Wow, it was, uh, you know, it was quite intense. He bitch slapped him. Part of me, though, as I saw it the night before, it, it appeared a little bit set up a little, just by the way he re- he reacted to it, the way he moved and stuff. Even the only thing that wasn't real was the, the yelling. The dropping the fuck bomb to him afterwards. We're talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock. Chris Rock made a joke. Will Smith walks up on stage, fucking slaps him right in the fucking face. And then he pretty much tells him, keep my wife's name, name out, out, your your fucking mouth, mouth. out your fucking mouth. Here's the thing, though. You saw the video, though, like before, and he's fucking laughing. He was yeah. laughing until he looked yeah. over and saw you're right. Until he looked over and he saw that she was not fucking enjoying that joke. Right. He was laughing his ass off. So, f- come Maybe on. That joke is not that hard. That not that. Come on. It's not that, uh, Intense. I wonder if I could even find it real quick. <coughs> it was pretty, to me, it, was, it seemed pretty innocent. Uncensored. Will Smith, Chris Rock. Okay, I'm just going to do a quickie search on this and sure, sure enough it'll come up. Here it is. Uh, let's see here. Listen to this shit. He's going to say, he's going to say, keep, keep my wife's. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are in the now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? That was it. That was the He's joke. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> Boom! Oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking. No! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> well, I can, oh, okay. <laughs> you could have cracked the joke there. You could tell him how to do it. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. So, that, okay, at first seemed canned, but it seemed like it was set up. But then it's after, and it sure fucking didn't seem like it was set up, did it? What did you think on that? Was that a real deal? I think it was. Yeah, Will seemed a little pissed off there, I think. Will was pissed. Oh, he was. Mm. All right, you know, what's our final words? What are you doing here? Let's, keep, let's wrap this fucker up. 
keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I can put something in her fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is the Going Deep Show. Uh, making more memories coming up in the next few weeks. Springtime is in the air, even though it's fucking nipple hardening cold out there. Uh, we encourage you guys to hit the, hit the GDS.com. Buy some shit there. And uh, subscribe to the show. I, I hooked a few new people up with the, the link to the show and showing them how to get it and all that kind of stuff. So people were at people have been asking. They're like, well, "Who's? You've been getting some fanfare here for you, Fiona. Tell me more about Fiona. Who's Fiona? Where's Fiona? It's like, none of your motherfucking business. Yeah. I ain't getting fired from another job. Yeah, fuck off. I keep telling everybody to go fuck themselves. <laughs> so uh, for the rest of the crew there. Uh, my, uh, my throat is feeling weird I gotta hock a big fat loogie It's gonna be disgusting Like caramel coming out of my goddamn face So exciting, can't wait It is We'll fill you guys in soon with what's coming up here in the next few weeks We love you a long time, as usual We'll see you soon Chill to the next one Fuckers